We are back. Crandall Hanlon wins game 299 in his career tonight. He is standing by to talk to Mac Ventola. All right, we're with Coach Fran O'Hanlon after their win here tonight against Moravian. And Coach, for the first time since 2008, you've scored over 100 points, a win here tonight against Division Three Moravian. How excited were you to see your team bounce back here tonight? Well, I was glad to see that we came out in the second half and played a lot better. We got off to a very good start. Moravian, their pressure really bothered us at the tail end of the, second, of the first half. And, um, you know, I wasn't happy with how we responded to some of the uh, pressure. And I thought we did a much better job. And Moravian came in here. They're, they won seven out of the last eight. So we knew that they, they're, they're confident, and we, uh, I thought we did a pretty good job. Now, I know usually with these Division Three games, I know you know it's a chance to tune up a little bit, a chance to maybe see a different bit of a challenge. But now you're going to get a bigger challenge going to St. Joe's on the 22nd, just a couple of days away. How does this game help you prepare for that game against St. Joe's? Well, one of the things, and both, both schools are coming out of exams right now. I mean, I know. Moravians coming out of exams, we're coming out of exams. And sometimes you got, you're trying to get the cobwebs out, you know. St. Joe's going to present a different challenge than Moravian. But once again, Moravian is a disadvantage too. They're coming out after a number of days off. So uh, I just was glad that we got to run up and down the court. We got, uh, we had some successes. We had some things we didn't do well. We got to do a better job of, uh, certainly against St. Joe. And um, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, Coach, thank you so much and have a good holiday. Thank you, Mike. That is Coach Fran O'Hanlon, and we are going to have Hunter Janacek join us here. And Hunter, who is the player of the game, a career-high 22 points here tonight for the freshman. And how does that sound, a career-high 22? I'm just happy we got the win. You know, I stood here a week ago and said that we would regroup and get some work in and come back and win this game, and we did just that, and I'm happy for that. Now, I know Moravian had some runs there late, but your team did a great job of holding them off. And uh, were there at times where you sat there and said, my goodness, this team, they can play quite a bit. Yeah, they can play. But we got guys like Nick Linder and, and Mack Linuski that are old and have a lot of experience. Eric Stafford that just kept us under control, and we, we handled the game well at the end. I loved it. Now, I know uh, you have a couple more days until your opponent at St. Joe's. Like I asked Coach O'Hanlon, has this game helped you prepare you for that game against St. Joe's? Today was all about confidence, just getting back in the swing of things. You know, we've been practicing really hard, and we've had a lot of great practices. And, and we're going to have a few more before St. Joe's, and we're going to go have a good game. All right, Hunter, thank you so much. Yes, have a good holiday. Yes, sir. I love the jacket. All right, thank you so much. You see, Gary, you see, John, they like the jacket. I apologize for not passing the memo that you should have worn one, but Merry Christmas to you guys. One guy at Kirby who would like, like that jacket. <laughs> I guess there's two because Mike likes it too. Uh, all right, let's take a look at the final numbers here tonight. A lot of guys with career highs in this ball game. But we're going to look at highlights, and then uh, we'll take a look at those math numbers. And there were plenty of highlights, especially in the first half, Gary. Uh, really, both teams got going up and down the floor uh, at, at a, a fast pace, doing a nice job inside. That was uh, O'Neal Holder. Nick Lidner really doing a good job of finding teammates. That's uh, the freshman, uh, Jarrett, uh, Lucas Jarrett. And then you see uh, our Coca-Cola player of the game, Hunter Janicek, doing a terrific job, Gary. He was just on fire today. Nick Linuski, dribble drive, he kicks it back out. Hunter Janicek was just feeling it. And again, uh, a couple of young guys stepping up big time and uh, uh, making shots. And that was really the story of the game. There's Hunter again on a nice feed from uh, Paulus Jalice. And then uh, look at the spin move. That's uh, Eric Stafford doing a nice job getting into the act offensively. Again, the dribble drive, Nick Lindner finding uh, Hunter for one of his misses, but it was uh, quickly retrieved by Jalice. Little back cut, nice feed by, I think that was Lucas Jarrett to Kyle Stout. Kyle Stout got off to a cold start, but boy, he did finish strong. Big double figure game for him. Holder again on the inside, stepping outside. O'Neal Holder again. You know, Moravian Gary uh, did not shoot the ball as well in the second half. Credit Lafayette's defense. They didn't do as much of this as we thought they would. Getting the ball inside to Matt Klinuski. They didn't need to, though. Great ball movement. Once again, that's uh, a kid that we did not see a lot of tonight. Brandon McGuire, we thought we'd see a lot more. Klinuski again going to work on the inside. A lot of good ball movement. A lot of good stuff being done. And this one right here was almost impossible. That was great defense by Hannah, but... Look at the behind the back move, Lucas Jarrett, the little, fr the young freshman, six foot eight, uh, showing off his skill set. Gary, I said it earlier on in the contest, Fran O'Hanlon's got a, a handful of freshmen 
with great skill sets. They can handle, they can pass, and they can shoot. They need to get a little bit stronger. They need to get a little more experience under their belt. I think this team's going to be okay. You mentioned Moravian not shooting well. They only shot 25% in the second half after a, a decent first half where they shot 39%. Lafayette finally took control of the backboards. Lafayette with less turnovers than Moravian. Here's how the numbers shook out individually for Moravian. O'Neill Holder with 14 points, eight rebounds for Brandon McGuire, but only six points as he came in averaging almost 22 a game and C.J. Barnes with a dozen. Moravian 67 points on 18 field goals. They were six for 26 from downtown, 25 for 30 from the foul line. They go to seven and three on the season. For the Lafayette Leopards, they post 104 points in the ball game, something they have not done since 2008. Palace Jalice with 14 points and seven rebounds. Eric Stafford, a career high 17 points. Hunter Janacek, a career high 22 points and a career high six triples as he shot 60% from beyond the arc. Nick Lindner with 11. Kyle Stout with a career high 17 points. Miles Cherry in the ball game had tied a career high with nine rebounds in the game. Lafayette's 104 points on 36 field goals. 14 for 28 from beyond the arc, 18 for 25 from the free throw line. They win this one by a 104 to 67 score, and they now are four and six on the season. Fran O'Hanlon will go for his 300th win on Thursday against St. Joseph's. My thanks to Mike Ventura, to John Leone, and John Sabino, who has been our director for another job very well done. We thank you for spending time with us. We'll see you sat on Wednesday afternoon at 2 o'clock. If you can join us, please do. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Good night, everybody.